We've got, we got questions about Sporans. Ian Bancroft. Oh, good. I like questions about Sporans. Yeah. On last week's question time, when describing his Scottish sartorial garb, Alistair mentioned that although he had several Sporans, only one of them was functional. Please, can you put me out of my misery and explain what makes a Sporan dysfunctional? Yeah. Well, my, my view on that, I assume what you meant. As, I mean, as people uh, listening will understand, a, a Sporan is essentially a man purse. In which, which you, you could put your coins or whatever you want to. And it sort of broadly covers your private parts. Broadly cover your private parts. And uh, if you're running, you probably want to move it onto your side hip. Otherwise, it bangs around a lot. Uh, and it can then get decorated. So I've got one with goat hair on the front, horse hair on the front. Uh, I found a badger in the road that had been run over. And you that, made it into a sparring? That's a sparring. Did you? Yeah, that's a sparring, yeah. Did you make it? Uh, yeah, I worked with a friend to make it, yeah. You made your own sporran. How yeah. many sporrans have you got? I've got five. Five, you told me, yeah. I've got three, but only... So the functional point for me is one is the belt broke. Yeah. The belt broke. And so, the other so one... it doesn't really work. The, <laughs> the other one, the baubles fell off. Okay, that's not really... So good. there's only one bauble left. I've, I've, got one with, I've got one with two baubles, missing a third of the other one. Yeah, it looks But if, as long as it's the two there... And no, not no, one no, it's the, the central one and the one oh, on the side. Oh, that's a dysfunctional it's, sporran. It's no good at all, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No good at all. Meanwhile, I'm having a ski and do made in Jordan. Okay. Would you like to tell our listeners what a ski and do is? Very good, yes. Obviously, in Gaelic, it's a black knife, and it's what goes in your sock. But there right is an sock. amazing man called Zaid, who is a knife maker in Amman. It's this is the second time you've mentioned the making of bespoke offensive weapons, Rory. And what was the other one? Are you plan- I can't remember. You talked about making another knife at another oh, time. Oh, plenty, anyway. A sword. Yeah, you're making a knife. You're getting a knife that's for right, this. It's, it's amazing. I mean, Zayd, literally, he, he, takes, um, he takes huge sheets of steel that are used in industrial processes, saws that are used for cutting massive bits of wood, and cuts them into knife shapes. And then he carves your name on the knife and then he does silver tops and bottoms so anyone going to amman go beyond the roman theater and look for zaid and get a knife made uh maria v i am year 12 at the moment thinking applying to study medicine regarding doctors why is there so little conversation about why there are so few places at medical school how it's so difficult to get in meaning that many capable students with excellent grades are turned away each year the Labour Party did pledge to increase medical school places to 15,000. Do you think this will happen? I don't know. I didn't, even, is that, I didn't even know that was the case, that there was a shortage of medical. I thought we were trying to get more doctors. I thought we were desperately trying to get more doctors. And it must, presumably, they do have to set some kinds of standards. I would hope so. Yeah. I would hope that you can just go and buy a <laughs> medical degree. <It's, laughs> so, listen, we have to come back. I don't know. Um,